here. Fire trap, Matt. Oh my god, I'm losing my freaking mind. All right, we're doing this on the moon. There's no other place. All right, your first ever match in the GWE, we're going to the freaking moon. Let's go. This is between one and a thousand. This is a debut match. That's pretty much like a title match to me. Bad boy Billy Boyd wins. Or the veteran, the multiple time intercontinental champion, the one time GWE champion, the Lake of Fire champion, the freaking man. Okay, if there was, if there are, there are a few people that you can classify as the freaking man when it comes to the GWE. Fire Trap Matt is one of them, and he also is a movie star. He's a movie star who never left. Okay, there are very few people who could say that. He looks like a freaking movie star, and he never even left. He never left to make a Hollywood movie. He made a Hollywood movie amongst his schedule. He still wrestled. He still won belts. He still defended his belts on time, on schedule, and he. St Still made movies. Let's freaking go. We even got that 80s film filter on this. <laughs> it's so, this arena is so out of control, guys. The Death Skull, no, the Dark Skull Moon Base X. The, uh, the arena that was built by the blood, sweat, and tears of the GWE champions that were, were actually coaxed into building this. So there's a whole backstory to even this arena, guys. That's how the GWE does things, all right? A guy by the name of Death Skull, who's an actual character in this universe, and a guy by the name of the Dark Ice Emperor, they got together and formulated a plan. And their plan was to put mind control devices in all the belts. All the GWE belts had 
mind control devices and allowed them to control all the superstars. So while the superstars thought they were just epic and winning belts and so happy about it, what was actually happening is they were recruiting themselves a workforce to build themselves a base on the moon. And after the first pay-per-view, it happened. It happened. The people who won belts actually became their mental slaves and built this moon base for Death Skull and the Dark Ice Emperor. And uh, then some people from the GWE went, went up to the moon base to try to free them from the mind control. This is an ongoing storyline that will be revisited, guys. So hopefully you understand what's going on here. So I just explained it. Well, let's do this. Yes, let's do this. So far, this is even. This is even. I saw I saw a Cowboy getting off to a good start. I see him getting reversals right now. Fire Trap Matt is nothing to be nothing to be trifled with though. Hell in a cell on the move. When have you ever seen this? When have you ever seen this? Hell in a cell on the moon, guys? It's ridiculous. It's out of control ridiculous right now. This is how you welcome people to the GWE. Cowboy, welcome to the GWE. Thank you for becoming a member of the Patreon. Thank you for being serious about your entertainment. And I, I can almost promise you that uh, I'm going to be putting a lot more than $5 worth of effort into making your character have some epic matches here. Give me that bat! No, you give me that bat! This is my bat. Bats on the moon. Has there ever been a baseball bat on the moon? This is a good trivia question. Oh, hang on a second. The first person to answer this trivia question is going to get... 200 gritty XP. Has there ever been a baseball bat on the moon? That's the question. Can there be a person to answer this? Following the string prophecy, yes he is. Sergeant Woods says no, <laughs> and Sergeant Woods is right. <laughs> From what I can tell, he is completely right. 200 greedy XP to you, Sergeant Woods. Good job. <laughs> that would be obviously ridiculous. They they have to save all the weight they can save to get up there. I don't think they would pack themselves a baseball bat. I know there's a golf club. There was a golf club. You are right. Jane, you are in fact right, and I'm giving you 200 XP for that little tidbit because I do know that that actually happened. I'm giving Jane 200 XP for that because that is a tidbit that I do happen to know. There was a golf club. There was not a baseball bat, unless they've been up since they've, they've not been documenting it correctly. Oh, he's putting punches to Fire Trap's face! Fire Trap's face is never going to be the same. He's got to make movies, man. Leave his face alone. All right. All right. Dude, Cowboy, I know you want to win this battle, but I need you to leave Fire Trap's face alone because every dollar he makes in the box, box office, I get 20 cents of that. He will not make as much in the box office if you mess up his, his luxurious face. Leave his face alone. All right. Punch him anywhere else, not the face. Ooh, that's a two count. The first man on the moon was gritty. I cannot confirm nor deny that. Hits him with a hot punch, but he no-sells it. You see the no-sell? Look at this. He doesn't sell anything. Cowboy will not sell a single thing. He will not. Oh, my God. He gets speared out of his mind, though. <laughs> sell that. Fire Traps says, sell this, buddy. <laughs> sell this fella. I was the first one. Maybe I was part of the storyline. Who knows? Who knows, guys? I've been telling you since the beginning that I am a heel. I am not. I am not a heroic member of the GWE. <laughs> I'm not. I am the least heroic member of the GWE, but it's just it's going to take some time, guys. It's going to take some time to, to show you that. And hopefully my character can do such a thing. 
Got to get ready for Marine 5. Yes, Jayden is going to be in the Marine 5. I would, oh, my God, I wish. Slams him on the bat. He strategically placed this bat for that slam, and he smiles at the crowd. He's like, yeah, that's right. Guys, check out my next movie. It's called Deep in Space, starring Firetrap. Man, he's got a finisher afterwards. Oh, my God. He flexed. He slammed him. Then he looked at the crowd and smiled, and then he had a finisher ready afterwards. This is why I'm telling you, welcome to the GWE, buddy. You're fighting Firetrap Matt. He still kicks out, though. This is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. Get off of me! Breaks the arm. It's not broken, but it's hurt. It's, it's, it's breaking, possibly. Oh! The clothesline. I told you, stop hitting him in the face. Cowboys, stop hitting him in the face, man. I gotta make this money. I gotta make this money off of the movie. The movie. Movies. He's got a finisher ready. What is his finisher? The giddy up. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what your finisher's called. That's a one. That's a two. That's a rope break wreck. Uh, you can't rope break in the Hell in a Cell, I forgot. Me and Paige. OMG. Yes. Oh, he dodges it, though. Firetrap dodges the, the punch. No, but he's out of it. Cowboy is no joke. I don't know what that move's called. I don't know if it's called the Giddy Up or the, the Wrangle. I don't know what it's called. It's probably something to do with the Cowboy. The Wrangle, the Marlboro. I don't know. I don't know. He stands there. He stares at the... He stares at the champion. Suplex City! Suplex City is happening. This match is epic. I am closing this wager down. Scam was closed. Do I have a wager in here? Hang on. He still kicks out! The last ride. I think that would definitely fit a cowboy character. I think that would definitely fit a cowboy character. The last ride. The bomb. He hits him with the last bomb. I'm closing this down. This is over. This is over. It's not over! Hang on! It's not over! He can't believe it. He's like, what does this guy take? What is, how can he do this? How can he kick out of that? It's because his name is Firetrap Matt. Maybe you don't know the legend of Firetrap Matt. He's a multiple-time Intercontinental Champion. He was the GWE World Heavyweight Champion. He has had several epic matches against the, the previous Atom Bomb Champion, the most prestigious championship that is in this league. On top of that, he is the Lake of Fire Champion, and on top of that, he has beat everybody in this entire company, pretty much. So... I hope you understand why this match is holding such gravity right now. Even though there's six times less gravity on the moon, this match still has 100% of the gravity it would have on Earth. That's how epic this is. Your debut match against Firetrap. Firetrap Matt never dies. No, he doesn't die. He definitely doesn't. He's making the beast thing. Oh, he's up again! He wrangles! I don't know, I'm going to call it the wrangle. Maybe the maybe the wrangle. He, he still somehow gets the shoulder up. Fire trap Matt is not done here. Maybe, maybe just maybe the cowboy. Billy Boyd has exhausted all his resources and cannot finish this match. Can he not put away Fire Trap Matt? Fire Trap Matt gets the reversal. Oh my goodness. Have I ever faced you, Fire Trap Matt? I don't think you have. I don't think you have Harvos. Oh, puts him down. I don't think Harvos versus Firetrap has ever been a match, and I would like to see that match. I would like to see that match. Very much like to see that match. I don't think it's ever happened. I think you guys have been on separate shows for the entire run of this universe, <laughs> so I don't think you guys have ever faced it. Covers him up! Oh, no, that's not enough. That's not enough. That's not enough. Look at the face of Billy Boyd. He's resorting to the bat! Oh my god! Yo. Billy Boyd does Firetrap have a... No, he does Oh my goodness! He gets. He catches the illegal move! 
That move is illegal. Ref. That move's illegal, even on the moon. Three counts. Billy Boyd. That kick, that kick right there. I've, I've been the victim of a kick like that and it sucks. Billy Boyd walks out of his first match, first GWE match against Firetrap Matt, the victor. Wow, what 